not help at all. Good morning. Today we are in Apopka, Florida. 30 minutes north of Orlando is King's Landing. Located on the Waukiva River and Rock Springs Run, you can paddle through the springs to the Emerald Cut. They have guided tours or self-launch, and we chose a canoe. We got here at about 8.15 and we're ready to launch at 8.30. So we did one of the very first launches of the day. We're taking out a canoe. You can also go up from there, single kayak or double kayak. You get a paddleboard, you can launch your own just for $10. This was my first time in a canoe. How difficult can it be? Scary to do a canoe? I mean, you just try not to lean. Oh, okay, yeah. so can tip if over? Lean, it'll, it'll definitely tell so. you. Actually, you should be fine. Okay. Always. If those kids can do it, so can I. more difficult than you would think. So we're at the Emerald Cut. We made it. How long did it take to get here? It took about an hour, I would say. Yeah. And paddling upstream, it's a little more difficult than you might think. Now, if you're a pro, you're probably going to go through it with a breeze. But, uh, you know, for us, someone who's out of shape like me, it took me a little bit longer. I feel the canoe was like longer and the center of gravity is different. So for me, I feel like the kayak is is good for me. Can you believe this water? Okay, so the Emerald Cut is gorgeous. It's kind of murky when you first exit the canal and we turned right to go towards the Emerald Cut. Once you kind of start heading down the stream a little bit more, you start to see it all of a sudden just shift and it changes and it's like this amazing blue crystal clear. It's gorgeous. You can't even, I don't think any video does it justice. You just have to come here. It's pretty amazing. You wouldn't believe that in this water here, you get like almost like a white sand, like you're on a beach here. I just want to show you real quickly. Look at this. We've seen darker sand than that on the Atlantic coast. In the jungle. Just kidding. <laughs> Just being a passenger princess. I mean, I'm working very hard here. It is so much easier going downstream than going upstream, right, Larry? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the fun part. <laughs> So we haven't seen any alligators yet. They say that the alligators are actually when you're going towards the run, I believe it is. So when you go out and you go to the left or right, we went to the right to go to Emerald Cut. That's great for swimming, great for hanging out. Um, you really won't see any alligators. If you go left, the water is a little bit more murky. And so that creates alligators. I wasn't having any alligators today. We didn't I can... want to swim with the alligators. <laughs> we didn't want to swim with the alligators. So we did not go left. <laughs> but I'm sure it's very beautiful. This trip is sponsored by There and Beck. We have a pack for you. This is keeping it very cold. Ready to eat? Let's go. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes The stuff we do to get the footage <laughs> We did it. We <laughs> conquered it. <laughs> and we took the full four hours to do it, that's for sure. <laughs> it did get more crowded. 
it's like 12 30 now yeah, and it is crowded like people are still checking in and it's busy yeah huge line for the check-in around this time so you might want to come a little early it's reservation only so you do have to book those in advance they say they have some first come first serve but mostly it seems like it's been pretty filled up and it is summer so like kids are out of school and even though it's a weekday you're still on vacay thank you guys for following along with us we'll see you on our next adventure Cold? Don't they say it stays at a constant 72? Yeah. 72 degrees. All year. In the wintertime, it's probably really nice. <laughs>